Pisces, I'm about to do y'all love reading for December 2020. Um, but it could resonate before, after. Because I'm doing it at the end of November. But anyway, I did y'all reading already. I just did y'all reading. But for some reason, it got deleted when I was about to save it. I don't know what that's about, but it's making me mad. It just did that for Gemini. But I'm going to keep going anyway. Even though it gets on my nerves to not pull the cards on camera. Like, it really does annoy me. But I'm going to do a separate a separate spread after this spread. To get more information about the obstacles or warnings coming towards y'all. But anyway, it looks like this is for Pisces. And right now, people, at least one person is seeing you as love. They're seeing you as gentle. But they're also seeing you as somebody who can be kind of naive. Somebody who they... Could kind of easily get something or things that they want from. That's how somebody is seeing you. So, with the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles, you might be worried about a relationship that you were in or are in. But I feel like you were in. Like, you might be worried about a relationship you were in. Because the tower is right there in the middle. Right over the eight of pentacles. So, um... I also feel like you could be worried about never finding somebody who's true to you, like never finding true love, never finding, never having a family or never having somebody who's true before you, who you can truly trust. And um, I had the three of swords at the bottom when I first did the reading, but now the king of pentacles at the bottom because I had to shuffle to clarify this last card but to let y'all know um y'all coming from a place of hurt i feel like y'all coming from a place of hurt because of this tower moment or multiple tower moments in the past i feel like this tower is about a person in love who you were giving your all to and they were taking it like they were taking your all and using the energy that you gave them to give to give energy things to other people because they've literally been gifts or time, which is a precious gift, giving their time and energy to other people. So, or at least one other person. So I feel like Pisces, who I'm talking to now, is deep in their feelings because of a disconnect, breakup, person who shitted on them, treated them like they weren't worth shit. Maybe not to their face, but behind their back. And then Pisces found out about it. In the near future with the five of wands, it's like you're going to be pulled in too many different directions. You're going to have a lot of people wanting your attention because you have the five of wands, six of wands. So, yeah, a lot of people are going to want your time and want your attention. But I feel like you're going to be conflicted about everybody because you don't know how to look at things because you're still hurt about something that happened. Like, that's what happened when the tower happens sometimes. It's like the rug being pulled out from underneath you. So it's like, what can I trust? The whole floor disappeared. So I, I feel like you were building something with somebody. And shit came, tr came crashing down because of things you found out about. Now it's like you don't trust yourself. You don't trust other people. Okay. So you got the tower here. I mean, it's for a good reason. Not saying that it doesn't need to be healed. But it makes sense, okay? The Eight of Pentacles under the tower. Somebody sees you as working. This person thinks you're not even focused on them. So you must have a good poker face. You must be making it that way. They feel like you're focused on a craft or work or business. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Six of Cups. What the fuck? So they're seeing you as somebody, like I said, who's genuine loving who has like a very innocent like an innocence about you like an innocence about your spirit which is a good thing but could be a bad thing if people think you're easy to take advantage of but I feel like they're thinking about they're having a lot of memories about you like a lot of nostalgia could be possibly like daydreaming Thinking about how much you invested in the situation. 
with them. They're thinking of the things that could have been built or like where this situation could have gone. Like their shit have could have would have shit is what they're thinking about right now. You're hoping for the eight of wands. You could be hoping for communication. I hope it's not from this person. I feel like you're hoping for communication that leads to progress for you. I don't feel like it's related to this person, but I'm going to clarify anyway. Why is the eight of wands here for Pisces? Yeah, communication that leads <laughs> to something successful for you because you got the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Um, feeling like it's nothing else. Not nothing else you can ask for because I don't think you're coming from like a, a selfish place. I feel like you're coming from a place of like you're tired of like communicating with people, talking to people or whatever and thinking it's going somewhere that is actually not. So you're hoping for communication that leads to something that will be fulfilling for you or you're hoping for somebody to come in who's all about you. By the end of these two weeks, though, you're going to be in the King of Wands and Four of Pentacles energy. The King of Wands in reverse is, is like a um, kind of mischievous energy, but it's like it's very flighty. It could be like the player, pimp, gigolo type of card with the King of Wands in reverse because it's like somebody who doesn't stick around. Somebody who says one thing and does another thing. And I feel like that's going to be because you feel like you have to protect yourself. Not saying it is right. I don't feel like you're going to be in a relationship and doing this. I feel like you're pretty much not going to be choosing from all the options that you have. Like you're, you might entertain somebody and then like, mm, no. And then you might entertain somebody else. Like, And I feel like it's because you're not healed from whatever this tower, whatever this tower moment is, or multiple tower moments was, you're not healed from it. And you don't want to lose any more of yourself. Could not want to lose any more money, any more time. I feel like it's mostly you don't want to lose any more time because you can get money back. You can't get time back. So your advice that came out though was supernatural. So I feel like you might be dealing with somebody who wants you to compete for their time. Compete for their time. Compete for their attention. I feel like this came out as advice to let you know, like, compete for what? They tell you don't compare yourself to other people or another person this person might be dealing with. Because it's pretty much like, <laughs> it's pretty much like comparing hot dogs and um, apples or whatever, like steak and steak versus hot pockets like it's clearly two completely different types of foods why would you compare them like it's telling you don't compare yourself to anybody else you're supernatural it says you are ancient wise sage you can shape shift at will master is your destiny rise with dignity so that was y'all advice but i'm gonna move on to um the other spread I'm going to do I'm going to pull five cards just because I didn't want to have a reading where all the cards were already pulled which I mean it's nothing wrong with that I just don't like to do that but um let me see there's Pisces what obstacles will come up over the next well in the first two weeks of December as far as love is related, I mean, as far as love is concerned, what are their strengths in love, the warnings, as far as love is concerned, and their most likely outcome, you, the heart chakra, I feel like you're all in your feelings, Pisces, what y'all y'all feelings about, obviously a person, right, you shut up. Pisces obstacle over the next two weeks. Okay. So it came out as an obstacle. Wow. Six of Wands in reverse. Mm, 
strength. Okay, I gotta get one more for y'all. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So, you're showing up as the heart chakra. So, I feel like you're wanting a relationship. Like, you're wanting true love in your life. You feel open to it. I don't feel like your heart chakra is blocked or closed completely. I just feel like you give your heart to the wrong people. But I feel like I'm talking to a Pisces who has a really big heart. So, I'm not saying you just open it to anybody, but I'm saying like you, even though you've been hurt, you still are able to open yourself up in some way or willing to try. But it's, it's telling you an obstacle is going to be a six of wands or is a six of wands. So it's some sort of issue with confidence. Which it seems like because you seem to have a lot of options. But it's like you're thinking about or. Like maybe obsessing about or really just really hurt about a particular person. With the six of wands in the first like you in reverse. You could feel like a failure because you didn't make something happen with somebody. So you with strength, um, you're having in love is the nine of <laughs> the nine <laughs> of wands. So you have no problem being like defensive or closed off or not trusting of other people in love. Like you don't trust people who come towards you in love. That's what you're good at right now during this time. Okay, so a warning for y'all is coming together. Somebody's going to be wanting to come together with you. That could be what that King of Wands was at the end of that reading. King of Wands in reverse. So you could be acting as the King of Wands in reverse. Not choosing a person or a person who didn't choose you. Like probably a person who created a tower is coming. Go we'll fuck back. They're coming back towards you. It's a soulmate. I'm going to clarify this. Yep. So, <laughs> confirm is what y'all got. And then you got the lovers in reverse. The lovers can also be about a choice. So, it's somebody who didn't choose you in the past. Somebody who you don't trust. You have no reason to trust. And every reason not to trust. They're coming back towards you. I feel like it's a soulmate or twin flame who you're not meant to be with forever. It's one that you're meant to learn lessons from or meant to push you into something better. It's pretty much like like Cat Williams Day. You know, it's a stepping stone nigga. Oh, I'm sorry. Or female. I didn't even mean to say that, but whatever. I got heel and empress. Okay. This is where you're going to be. I feel like you're going to be in the place of healing, obviously. Because the cards say heal and nurture. But I feel like this is going to be about you. You could be changing something about your appearance over the next two weeks to make yourself feel good, more beautiful, more, more something that you want to be. With the star being here, I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of attention from a lot of different people that you're not going to entertain. Because then what came out was the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles came out in the first spread. Like you being closed off, protecting yourself, and needing to open up, but not to this person right here. Not to the moon person in love is reverse tower person, not to them. But open up to all of the many options. Not all of them. <laughs> to one or some of the many options that you have, Pisces. But like with Supernatural is saying what you want, like what you're hoping for, wanting in your love life is available to you or it's going to be available to you soon. Your only issue is believing in yourself. You got to believe and succeed in reverse. So turn it up right. You got to believe in yourself and you'll succeed. Like you'll get what it is that you want. Um... 
I feel like I should pull one more advice card for Pisces. Psychic abilities and commitment. So some of y'all have some psychic abilities or you could have like, if not psychic, it's some sort of spiritual gifts. You got spirit guide at the bottom. So I'm going to need y'all to listen. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your spirit guides. Stay committed to some sort of path. This card, it's cool that it came out because the message of it is um, related to the shadow work reading I just did. About not committing to something fully that you want. <laughs> Wanting something but not doing what needs to be done to get it because of still being hurt from something in the past that's not what that whatever let me just read the message okay I'm not about to confuse me today why well, is commit me here it says your dedication at this time is in question where you have put your heart and soul into you have reaped the, the reap the rewards and you have so much to offer. However, your lack of focus underlines a fear of commitment. Something from your past is preventing you from making a choice. And the free spirit within you dreads the thought of being trapped. However, a little focus and dedication is required on your part to release the self-made restrictions. The universe is poised in your favor to devote to that cause to pledge allegiance to a partner or to commit to an offer at this time. Um, so I feel like for some of y'all, it really could be some sort of offer to do some sort of spiritual work, some sort of offer to do some work as it relates to how you physically look, some sort of like work offer it could be. And y'all got hella love offers that y'all need to choose from instead of like, I know I can't say don't focus on like some sort of pain tower moment because regardless of what I say, y'all gonna feel what y'all feel. But I'm just saying that's what the cards are saying. Okay, so hopefully this reaches the Pisces, Pisces it was for. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.